All right, so I'm back out here at a range. We've got this Christensen rifle uh, broke in. Uh, we used the process outlined in the previous video. At this point, I've got 150 rounds roughly on this barrel. Actually, I think it's about 160. Uh, barrels can speed up. You know, not all barrels are created equal, so some may, some might not, but uh, this barrel actually sped up from the first shot to where we're at now by about 30 feet per second. So it's a good idea to get some rounds down the barrel, season it, and let, the, let it settle down a little bit and get some uh, better extreme spreads and standard deviations. Right now we're gonna shoot it at 100 yards and get a zero angle in the Ford Off program. After we get our zero angle, we'll go out to range and we'll uh, tweak our axial form factor if we need to. All right, now I'm gonna let the barrel cool and we'll do another five shot group and maybe go a little bit further after that. All right, so we've got our group here, uh, 10 shot group. You can go 10, you can go 15, you can go 20, you can go more, but I recommend at least 10 shots to get a good zero. What I'm gonna do now is open up the Hornady Ballistics app, go into Ford Off, and build the gun profile for this rifle. I'm gonna go into my favorites and add this as a favorite. Only thing required here is a title. So I'm gonna get that done. Uh, we do need to choose the bullet. In this case, it's a 143 grain ELDX. Uh, you can do set load info if you've got uh, hand loads and you want to track temperature and things like that. I'm not going to worry about that at this point. Um, I do need to set rifle info though. Our muzzle velocity with uh, the Precision Hunter 143 ELDX was 2940. This is 100 yards and so our, our sight height is 1.9 inches on this particular gun and our twist rate is an 8. I'm going to save this profile. So we've got our favorite saved. Uh, I'm going to go in and we are going to edit it once again to get that zero angle. So that's in the set rifle location. We're going to find zero angle with measuring the impact location. Let me get things nice and square. I don't think we need to rotate here. We can crop it a little bit if we so choose. So we've got the favorite chosen, bullet diameter is a 6.5, distance is 100 yards. We do need to add our measurement points. We're gonna add that one. We're gonna add that one, point of aim. Add right there, and we're gonna do impacts now at this point. Now obviously five of these shots went into a, a big ragged hole, so we're gonna need to do a little bit of assuming here but not that big of a deal. We're gonna be done. We're gonna use the check mark. So it's got our impact height and impact windage already put in here from the group analysis tool essentially. And we're gonna find zero angle and it's given us a zero angle. Now we're gonna take this rifle out to distance and check on our axial form factor and see if it needs tweaked. All right, now it's time to check at distance if we need to do any tweaking to our axial form factor. This should be done 
uh, at a distance where the time of flight of the bullet is over a half a second and where you can still, as a shooter, shoot a good group and make a good wind call. In this distance, I'm gonna shoot at 606 yards and we've got a pretty strong wind right now, but it's calling for 11 point eight minutes. So I'm gonna dial 11 and three quarter minutes. And I'm gonna shoot an Ipsic at 606 yards and shoot a nice group down there. All right, that's a nice little five shot group. Um, typically I'll go 10, maybe even more, but at this point I've got a pretty good idea that I actually don't need to tweak my axial form factor at all, but we'll go down there and check and see if we need to tweak it just a little bit, but I don't think we, we will. All right, so we just shot a nice group for checking our axial form factor and if we need to tweak it. Uh, I was actually aiming dead center of this IPSC target. I missed my wind by a little bit, but I actually don't need to tweak my axial form factor at all. When, when you would want to change it is if you were aiming dead center on the water line of this target and if you were high or low, you would need to tweak it. Now, there's three ways to do it in the app. There's one way that I specifically like to do it myself, but if I go into edit rifle info and axial form factor, I like to use the manual selection but you can also use an impact location or use total come up. But I like manual selection. And let's say that I was high, uh, I would need to change my axial form factor down a little bit by a percent or two. If I was low, that would mean I had more drag on the bullet and I'd need to inc uh, increase it by a percent or two. But to do that, you just measure the distance that you have um, from where you're aiming and tweak your axial form factor until your dope lines up. Now, if it's too far out to where you can't actually adjust the difference, something else is wrong, whether that be a zero range, a zero angle, a velocity, or something like that. Maybe the wrong bullet has been chosen in the library, but check all those things if your axial form factor cannot be fixed uh, within the parameters given. But this rifle, shooting great, ready to go for hunting season. It's a nice, lightweight, packable rifle, and we're excited to use it. If you have any questions on Ford Off, our bullets, our products, hit us up at tech at hornady.com or give us a call. Shoot us an email. We're happy to help, and we want to see you successful in the field.